All right, next up is Monday, December the 18th. We've got the uh, Western Kentucky Hilltoppers taking on the Old Dominion Monarchs in the, holy shit, these bowl names. I mean, famous Toastery Bowl. My goodness, these bowl games names are getting even more outlandish yeah. by the year. Famous Toastery Bowl here. Western Kentucky and Old Dominion uh, uh, on uh, Monday, December 18th. This is in Charlotte, North Carolina, Jerry Richardson Stadium. We've got uh, Old Dominion, two and a half point favorites, 55 and a half being the uh, total uh, here in this game. Uh, you look at this matchup um, there for the as far as transfer portal uh, issues that you have to worry about. Uh, a couple receivers for Old Dominion in the transfer portal. Um, the big one, too, injury wise, is that they, they're the, one of the best leading tacklers in the country, not just Old Dominion's own team, but the country. Jason Anderson may not play in this game. And. That would be a big loss on defense for Old Dominion. There's no question about that. Yeah, 170 um, tackles. He was all over yeah, the field. Yeah, He was. So that's a huge loss. But they're going up against a Western Kentucky offense. It was just nothing special this year compared to what we've seen. We're so used to Western Kentucky just rolling on offense, piling up the points. For some reason, there was just, um, uh, you know, it wasn't consistent with them uh, from start to finish this year. I mean, even in games against uh, Sam Houston State, uh, UTEP, you would expect big points in those games, and they were okay, but not great. They did get a uh, burst out offensively against Florida International, but FIU did have their share of issues defensively uh, down the stretch. We'll see how this game uh, plays out. This is one where I'd probably lean a little bit towards uh, an over here. Um, you know, Old Dominion with Grant Wilson uh, at quarterback. He's kind of a mid range quarterback, a little good, a little bad. Uh, kind of up and down uh, on the uh, season overall. You look at his uh, numbers uh, down the uh, stretch. You know some good games, some some uh, some some bad games. But Western Kentucky's defense, to me, uh, late in the season, you know, concerning. Twenty eight points to Florida International, concerning. Thirty eight points to New Mexico State. Forty two points to Liberty. Uh, those are good offenses, but twenty eight to Louisiana Tech wasn't exactly a great offense. And even with their own offense, kind of underachieving at times this year. You know, we were able to see. Uh, Western Kentucky, uh, you know, move the football against weaker defenses. They probably should be able to move it here. I would probably lean over uh, in this game. I don't think I want Western Kentucky, though, kind of a, an overvalued team much of the season. And what I like about Old Dominion, and this is something to be note, note uh, be, be mindful of with these bowl games, the team that won their final game and scrapped and clawed like crazy to win that final game to get into bowl eligibility those are usually yeah. good teams to bet in their bowl game. Mm -hmm. And that's Old Dominion. They had to come back from the brink uh, against Georgia State in their final game. It was a thrilling comeback. It was epic because they were down big and they came back and they won on the final play of the game, 25-24. I know because I was on Old Dominion money yeah. line that game. Field goal, uh, State. Uh, safety, get yeah. the ball, score on the last. But yeah. Unbelievable. That was a team that was playing their ass off to get into a bowl game. And to me, that indicates a team that's not going to want to be there and win in the bowl game. So motivation wise, even with that key apt opt out potentially on defense or absence on defense for old dominion, I don't think I want to step in front of ODU, especially with Western Kentucky, just not nearly as good as they've been the last few years. So mild leans for me as of right now, ODU and over the total uh, Connor, what do you think? Yeah, I think if you like, Old Dominion under the three or go money line. This was a team better as a dog all year long. Uh, just they don't do talk about it, really anything great. Wilson just averaged the defense. Not great. Western Kentucky missing a few linemen in this game. They got a tackle out their center out, but Old Dominion doesn't get any, really any pressure. They were down at the bottom getting sacks all year long. You talked about Henderson uh, already being out. For Old Dominion, they got to be ecstatic to be here, <laughs> though, in this one, like you talked about. And we'll see as long as Reed's in this game. I mean, I th think he'll be here. And you talked about West Kentucky's defense was kind of bad all year long. And they played all right because they would get interceptions. That really helped them out. That was their key. And when they don't, they could just get burned. But Old Dominion, not a team, you know, they had one really bad loss. I thought Babana was to Liberty, you know, and that was one I was against, but they were a dog. They covered. And in these games, they won, you know, they won by three, they won by one, they won by a touchdown against app state, just in the football game. So I kind of like, as long as under the three points, I think this game could be fun. Uh, 
hold them in and get the win. Just not a team you want to lay more than that with. No, I <laughs> you know more than more than a field goal. They're the they're the they're the epic uh, epitome team that you never want to lay more than a field goal uh, with a team like Old Dominion. Uh, so I agree. I think less than three, they're still a solid bet. If it gets more than that, they're not as interested. 